Check this out. They're creepy and crawly, and apparently they could soon take over the East Coast. University of Georgia researchers are taking a very close look at the movements of the Jural spider. Now, while the giant spiders are native to East Asia, you've probably come across the blue, black, and yellow striped legged arachnid. Now, the good news is that they are mainly harmless. Even if one happens to bite you, just recently <laughs> experts discovered the spiders have a higher probability of surviving a brief freeze. Now, this would also allow them to move up the East Coast and colonize in colder climates. If it can survive in the northern reaches of Japan, we, we sort of figured that it, it would probably survive in like the upper reaches of the U.S., things like, you know, the upper uh, mid-Atlantic. Andy Davis is a research scientist in the Odom School of Ecology at the University of Georgia. He tells us Joros don't appear to be harmful or have much of an effect on the local ecosystem. They may actually be beneficial in some ways as well to uh, native uh, birds as additional food sources mm. for them. Their fangs are usually too small to break human skin, so there are fewer worries for you there too. They uh, are actually very, very timid. I've got some research ongoing in my lab right now looking at their behavior, and it turns out it, they're, they're more timid than most of your native spiders. Last year, the Juro spiders made a lot of headlines as more and more people started coming across them in their giant webs. Davis says over time that may change as the spiders learn to adapt to living in the same areas with us humans. The Juros may instead make their webs higher up in trees to keep them from being disturbed. I think people are going to have to learn to appreciate spiders because this spider isn't going anywhere. Mm. All right. <laughs> Good news or bad, whichever you take that as, for more information on these spiders and their movements across Georgia and the eastern coast, you can look for this story on 11alive.com. Oh, they Ooh. are pretty, but still a little creepy.